So, what we're going to do now is talk you through using two different types of auto injectors. So, what we have here is James. We're using James instead of Jeffrey today because it's always nice to mix things up a little bit. So, we have two auto injectors. One's called the Inject Ease, which is probably what we've been using the most of, but we have found there's two steps with the Inject Ease, as you'll see. And sometimes for people who may have, you know, shaking hands, it's a little bit more difficult to use. So the other option that we also have is called an Auto Inject 2. Now I'll show you the Auto Inject 2 has all these parts. It's a little bit more complicated to put together, but it is actually surprisingly easy to use. So we'll go through them both. So the first thing is the Inject Ease. So on the video on how to inject, I've shown you how to use this, but I'll show you again. And let's just pretend that you've got your syringe and your syringe has got some of your medication in it. So you pop it into the auto injector and it goes in like so. And you'll notice this little bit here clicks in and out. So if you click that in, that's what locks it in and gets it ready to go. If you don't click that in, when you press this button, nothing happens. So you click that in, then you press the button and the needle comes out. So then when you want to get it back up again, you pull, open that up, take your needle out and throw it away. And you make sure you use a new needle for every injection. But for this purpose, we're just going to use our pretend one again. So we've got it loaded. Now, you have a look at the penis and you hold, look at the eye of James. You hold him in your non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, so my left hand holds the head of the penis and I stretch it out in front. Now James is already quite stiff, which is lucky for James, but if he was a real penis, he'd be a bit soft and floppy. So you might need to just brace the shaft of the penis there. Now you draw a line down the middle and imagine the penis that you can inject anywhere along this part of the shaft or this part of the shaft. So at 10 o'clock and two o'clock, if you imagine there's a clock on the front of James. So you pop this on. Now if there's a vein in the way, don't get too stressed, just push it out of the way with the head of the auto injector or just pick a spot where the vein isn't. Then you use your thumb here to press that button which puts the needle in but you need to push the plunger on the injector to get the liquid to go into the penis. Push it down fast, take it out and grab the base of the penis nice and firm and strangle James. Now the reason you're doing this is because it's keeping that medication in the shaft of the penis for 60 seconds, one minute only, and then you let go, vasodilation has happened and the blood can come in and you can get an erection. Now the difference, so that, that one I just showed you is the inject ease. Then we've got this other option here. So this is the inject, auto inject two. Now the way this works is it's got these three pieces. You put this little yellow bit on the end and then you push yellow to yellow, push it in. Now you've what you've done is you've loaded it. It's like a gun, loaded the gun, take that out. That's its only purpose. Then you get this needle, you pop it in the auto injector and then you pop the lid on, screw it down like so. And then the difference with this is it's one button only. So you Press that button, the needle goes in and the liquid goes straight into the shaft of the penis. So I'll show you again. You pop your little yellow piece here, push it in to load it, take that out. Then you pop the needle in, screw the top down. Then you, same thing, look at the eye of James, hold him in your non-dominant hand, pick your spot, your target, hold that firm against if you need to, brace the penis, and then you put your thumb on this button here, press, and the needle goes in and the liquid goes in at the same time, so it's only one movement only. And then you pull it out, pop it down, strangle the base of the penis for one minute. So both of those auto injectors work really well. To me, the pros of this one is it's a one button only for application, but the negative is, is it's a little bit more fiddly to load. This one, much easier to load, but it is a two-step process. Press, press. So it's really whatever's up to you. These ones, also because they're quite large, are quite good for people who have got a bit of a shake in their arm because you can, and I'll just show you, I'll just remove James and pop him down here. If that was James, I could hook my elbow into my hip 
which gives me a bit more stability and if I was a bit of a shaky person, it would be harder to shake and then I could do it. So it's really up to you which one you prefer. And they're both available on the Restorative Sexual Health website. Thank you.